As we age, our ratio of different muscle fiber types changes, especially if we don't continue to exercise. We not only lose muscle fiber size, but actual muscle fibers. A lot of research indicates that these are mainly type 2 muscle fibers, the ones that grow the largest and the strongest. One of the places that this is most noticeable is in our legs. As we age, our legs shrink down until we have the dreaded chicken legs. This week I did some research to see whether or not we could get this lost muscle fiber back, and if we can, how do we train to get it back? One of the things I was surprised to learn is that there are actually seven different muscle fiber types that get grouped down to three main classifications. The ones that we're used to hearing about. Those groups being type 1, 2A, and type 2B. It's important to have a basic understanding of these fiber types as one of the ways we can increase our type 2 fibers is through muscle fiber conversion. And we'll be looking at a study where this happened. But first, let's look at these three fiber types. Type 1 fibers are endurance fibers and mainly use oxygen for energy. We associate this type of muscle fiber with marathon runners. Type 2A uses oxygen to convert glycogen to ATP, which is an abbreviation for adenosine triphosphate, which is then used for energy. Type 2B just uses stored ATP. These fibers are stronger and able to generate much more force than type 1, but fatigue way quicker. We associate sprinters and weightlifters with these fiber types. Most of us have a fairly even distribution of type 1 and type 2 muscle fibers. Now it's been long accepted that 2A and 2B fibers can convert from one another, but there's growing evidence that at least some type 1 fibers can be converted into type 2. They did a study on four groups of people. Two of the groups were younger, between 20 and 30, and split into male and female. The other two groups consisted of older ones, again split into separate groups of men and women. Their age range is between 65 and 75. They trained only one leg using leg extensions, doing multiple sets of drop sets. So each rep they did was close to failure with a total of 50 reps per workout. The other leg was not trained as they were using it as the control. After nine weeks, every group had significantly different results. But the older men's trained leg was not only stronger than the untrained leg, but it also had increased muscle size in all fiber types. But what was most interesting here is that while total fiber amount was the same, there was an increase in type 2A fibers and a decrease in not only type 2B, but also type 1, indicating they had changed into type 2 muscle fibers. Another study done with physical education students had them sprinting and found that after four to six weeks, of doing 30 second sprints, a decrease in type 1 muscle fibers, and an increase in type 2A fibers. Now this establishes that to some extent we can increase our type 2 fibers by converting type 1 fibers. And because type 2 are able to grow larger than type 1, we can protect some of our overall muscle size and strength this way. Still, there are questions as to what extent it can be done, and it doesn't create any new muscle fibers to replace the ones that have been lost it just redistributes the existing fibers. There is another way to create muscle growth other than hypertrophy, and it is called hyperplasia. This is where new skeletal muscle fibers are formed through one of two processes. One being where a large muscle fiber splits and becomes two fibers, or it can happen through satellite cells undergoing mitosis, fusing together and ultimately creating new fibers. Unfortunately, it is difficult to study in humans, so the research is lacking. There are a lot of animal studies done on birds, cats, and rodents. These kind of studies don't always translate well over to humans, but one technique used on these animals is muscle stretching, and human exercise experiments have been done using muscle stretching in more than one way with good success, resulting in increased muscle size. Now watch this video next to find out how to apply muscle stretching to your training for increased muscle growth, so that we can keep working out while having fun. This is Lawrence from Fit and 50. We'll talk to you again in the next one.